guys and welcome back to the show in today's video i would like to show you guys how to upload files using flask later on we will look at how to upload into a database and then finally we will look at how to download um, from the database to your downloads folder onto your mac or your windows i've got like a simple application um, i've created a virtual environment um, basically a virtual environment is like um it's like an environment right it's like a world and inside of that world, I have all the dependencies that I need to create the application. So if I do pip list right now, you can see that I've got Flask. And um, that's about it. Because I only need Flask for this application. I've created a directory called where to download to. So this will be the directory where I would like to, you know, when I upload the file using Flask, I would like you to download to this path. So imagine in your head that this path is a database. And that's where I would like it to go okay to get started i've got the application with nothing um, in there so i can basically start so i'll create two endpoints i'll create a slash endpoint and a download endpoint so i'm going to say from flask import flask and as you know with flask you need to create an instance of the flask application so i'll say app flask and i'll pass it the underscore underscore name underscore i will need a secret key because i'll be dealing with forms so i'll go ahead and create up the secret key your byte and i'll just say secret for now so here what i'm saying is that i've created one endpoint slash and i've created a method called index and i'm saying if someone goes to the index root return hello for now all right um, usually what i do is that i like to create like an emv file and inside of the emv file i can have all my exports in there but for this one, I just would use, I'll just do it from the terminal. So I'll say export Flask app. Um, the Flask app is the app.py. So the Flask app is app.py. And I would like to start it in development mode. So Flask underscore EMV. And I'll set the EMV to development like so. So now if I do Flask run, it starts the server in development mode. So if I go to this URL, okay, I think I made a mistake. Underscore underscore name, it should be. So it's underscore underscore name all right so if underscore underscore name is equal to underscore underscore main then run the application basically all right so if i go back to the browser and i refresh i have hello over here okay so i'm going to create a directory here so i'll do mkdir i create a templates directory and inside of the templates directory i'll create two files i'll create a layout.html file and i'll create um, an index.html file so instead of the layout.html, I can say HTML5 um, to give everything that I need, block content, and I'll end the block content just like that. So if I go to the index of HTML file, what I can say is that since layout.html, then I'll say end block content like so. So I don't want people to upload, for instance, HTML files. I want people to upload PNG files, text files, PDF, JPEG, or GIFs. All right, so I could create um, a constant allowed extension. It will be a dictionary, and this dictionary will contain a text, a PDF, peg, like so. And then I can, I don't mind having a GIF as well. On the desktop, I've got this directory called where to upload to. So I need to find the path to, to this directory. If I go back to the app the py file what i can do now is i can import os so i can say import os base path will be os dot path dot the absolute path i want the absolute path to to a certain environment and the environment that i want or the location that i want is my home directory right so i'm gonna say os dot environ and then i can do dot get on that and I will get the home. Now that I have the base path and I've got the allowed extensions that I want, I can define a method that will check if the file that the user is uploading has got the extensions that I need, all right? So I can go over here and then do something like define allow. Now that we've got this, let's go back to the index the HTML file. So now the index the HTML file, we need to make some changes. We need to basically create a form, right? Because if you want to upload something, you need a form to, up to make you upload. What I'm gonna do is to create a form. I'll type in form, like so. So this is what I have right now, and it looks dope. So basically, if I click on choose file, as you can see, it opens the downloads folder, which is great. It means that you're getting somewhere, 
um, with this. So um, the next thing I need to do now is to write the logic that will check that the user is uploading the right file and make sure that everything is, you know, everything is okay before I actually save the file um, to wherever I would like to save the file. Okay, so now everything is set. Let's write the logic. Let me, let's write the logic to make sure that everything works perfectly. So um, over here, this will be the get and also the post. All right. So I can now go over here and then say that. So one thing I did was that I forgot to put a PNG in here, um, but the file, the screenshot that I took is a PNG file. So um, I've added the PNG here. And now if I try to upload the file, let's see if everything works. So if I go to choose magic file, all right, upload, you see, it took me to the download, um, download page, okay. And now we can see that the magic file is inside of, you know, where to upload to directory. So basically that is how you upload from Flask to um, a directory. And that's the same principle that you will follow to upload um, from Flask to a database. But yeah, I hope this makes um, sense and I helped you or you get a bit of understanding of how um, to store files using flash so essentially what we've done is that we imported OS we created a method over here called allowed files right allowed files what this does is that let me get rid of these print methods so this method called allowed files it takes in a file name and what it does that it checks that the file has got a dot in it and that the extension is inside of this dictionary all right then i have like a, an index method which roots to slash all it does is that if i go to the slash endpoint return index.html this index.html is basically a form which has a push method on it to the slash index endpoint and it has got like a file type input and field and it's got like um, a submit type input field as well so basically if I go here what you see over here is basically what you have we have over here then I'm saying that if the method is post if file not in request of files if if the request file does not have you know this file name in there flash a message saying in no file part that it hasn't got the file part in there then redirect to the index um, the index root then I'm extracting the file from the request of file to get files I'm extracting the file from it all right and I'm saying that if the file this file if the file the file name which is basically saying that if the user does not select anything so if the user tries to do something like this if the user tries to click on something like upload without choosing or selecting a file say no file was selected which is basically what we have over here all right and lastly if the file exists and the file has got one of the extensions that has been listed over here what i want you to do is i want you to secure the file right and then save the file to this path and then flash a message saying file uploaded successfully and then return redirect to the downloads page so i hope this makes much more sense and you do understand things much better of how to upload file using flask i'll cover how to upload into a database and then how to download from a database but i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and i'll see you next time